Hey everybody, Texas Stroker here, Lance's Performance Shop, LoneStarMopars.com. What we've done tonight, we actually came back out, unboxed the GoPro, uh, it turned out to be a longer video than I ever intended. Uh, came in tonight, kind of walked you through quick start, how to set your camera up, then we walked you through how to set up the uh, slick new Wi-Fi remote. Uh, I guess not terribly new, but uh, new to a lot of people, so uh, going to be very cool, very handy nonetheless. Now the thing is... Uh, you don't want to walk around with your GoPro, you're going to be wanting to do things. It's an action camera, so you're going to be driving, you'll be behind the wheel. Uh, you'll be doing something that involves all of your attention and focus on that particular activity. You need the camera to basically just be there and capture whatever it is you're doing. So, uh, they've got some unique mounting solutions. The Probably the quintessential one in terms of automotive-based stuff is the suction cup crazy crazy things have been done with this suction cup and i don't know of anyone that's had one fail uh me personally my experience with them i've gone up roughly around 140 miles an hour plus and i have zero issues and that's that's not highway stuff you know going from say that's going from a roll giving it all the time in the world that we can get things to go wrong to happen and i've yet to have one come off uh, scared to death, I won't lie, whenever you've got, you know, a two, four hundred dollar camera sitting on the side of your car, uh, sitting on the sunroof, the roof, the hood, the fender, quarter panel, back bumper, wherever it is, if you've got a high-end piece of electronics that you just paid good money for, you are extremely paranoid about this stuff, you don't want to see it get tossed off, have to go digging through the bar ditches for it, hope you can find it, and then hope the thing works. Uh, like I said, I've used it uh, GoPro quite a bit. I've never had issues. Uh, everyone I know with one runs the suction cups, no problems. Now, this is a new suction cup. I don't know exactly when they restyled these things. I guess at some point in the evolution of the camera. The original one does not look near this sleek. Uh, it looks very suspect, I won't lie. But like I said, the dang thing just works. Uh, so if you're going to be doing anything automotive, this is probably your best bet. Whether you're going to mount an exterior of the car on a body panel, uh, mounted inside, you know, on the side glass or the windshield, whatever it may be, these things just work. Again, I'm excited to try this one out. It is smaller. It looks way better. Uh, I like the fact that this one is blacked out. It's going to work well with my personal vehicle lineup, but the old one kind of had that big, ugly, clear suction cup thing on it, but um, nonetheless, this is what the packaging is going to look like. I have to tell you right now, there are a lot of people that make suction cups. There's a lot of online sellers that label it a GoPro suction cup, and it will not be. Uh, you could wind up getting something from the third world that works twice as good as this, or you might get something from the third world that's an absolute piece of crap, uh, and it's going to drop your camera. My advice, particularly with this suction cup, this is a proven mount. Again, I personally have tons of time testing this thing. Zero failure, or I wouldn't have just bought one brand new. Uh, bear in mind, uh, that's testament in and of itself. If I rebuy something, that's a good sign they've done something right, or I have no clue it's going to fail. So, in this case, the experience is there. Zero issues. Um, Retail, I want to say, is like $39.99. I got this thing $25.99. Back in the glory days, a couple years ago, I'd have ordered all this stuff from Amazon and not had to pay tax. Uh, where I'm located here in Texas, we have to pay tax on Amazon now. So if I can find it locally, get instant gratification, and the price is the same, or uh, you know, within like a dollar or two, I'll I'll tend to go the local option. You know, so that's the case. This thing $25.99. Uh, Target and Best Buy. I picked mine up at Best Buy. Not a huge fan of the store, but I'm not going to argue with uh, prices that match Amazon. So uh, it was in stock. I just like to do store pickup. I don't have to jack with anybody that way. I just walk in, show my ID, have security staring me down, go right back 20 feet to the security guy and get treated like a common criminal. But at least I've got my stuff and saved time. Now, uh, the price. 15 bucks is 15 bucks. Uh, if you're seeing this for 39 and you don't have to have it immediately, wait around because I'm pretty sure the 25 must be a pretty frequent uh, price drop point. But uh, what you get, you've got the suction cup and then kind of like an extendable arm. That may not seem like much, but trust me, when you start mounting these things upwards, downwards, inverse, uh, all you'll do all kinds of crazy things to gain clearance and get the shots you want. You will very much appreciate that piece. Um, I guess the GoPro number, I don't know, we'll just run with this one because it looks like something they put on there. Um, 
CO, that's in Colorado, that could be a zero too, I never know. Uh, 414A, again, this is what the packaging looks like. It's the legit straight up GoPro brand. Again, like I said, there's probably some suction cups that are cheaper uh, that might hold just as good, if not better. And there's probably some that cost a little bit less that are absolute trash. So, um, this is one I have the first hand experience with. I've never heard of anyone having one fail. I'm all always willing to pay $25.99 for something I know is dependable versus paying $12.99 for something that might drop a $400 camera. So uh, that's ultimately a personal decision. It comes down to you and your preference, but uh, that's the way I roll. So um, <clears throat> this actually still does have the clear suction cup. It's just designed better and you don't really see it. So that's kind of a slick upgrade there. Now, something I didn't even know is in the packaging is a little... Uh, carry-on bag for it and then of course uh, you will start to value these odds and ends as your uh, collection of clamps and connections continues to expand so make sure to always hang on to those get a little camera bag something of the sort now the way this thing works right there you see press denoted so what you're going to do you're going to stick this on your car obviously clean it off you know if it's been sitting in the barn for two months wipe it down you know get let it dry you, you don't want to put this on a dusty surface but past that i mean just go ahead and stick it on and you're going to press down and you'll ratchet that up and that is actually going to lock it in place like i said i've gone upwards of 140 in the texas wind and i've had zero issues with it uh the one time i did have something happen one of the mounts actually like swiveled down with the force of the wind uh, but the suction cup itself rock solid so then when you go to take it off be very careful you can pull a uh, dent into your car but you're just going to unlock that and then my advice is kind of you know press it and work it loose once you've had it on you'll kind of figure out what works best for you now as this is set up right now um i don't know we'll say you're going to put it on a metal dash just simple thing to do uh, it's set up for the quick clip and that basically then just ties right in with your camera case so that said uh, you can come in here and you can obviously kind of start removing things we'll we'll just actually do that um, this looks to be fixed actually but uh, you can press out it's a little carriage bolt that's probably quarter dash 20 don't hold me to that it might be smaller than that but this piece here comes out and now you can kind of start getting creative you can put this one in place and then you're going to have your suction cup mounted like that and you can kind of swivel it uh, obviously this direction would be better uh, but you get the general idea that's why you see the square right here that's obviously going to correspond with the carriage bolt if you didn't understand how carriage bolts work that's kind of the premise behind them but then what you have here that's unique it's the same quick clip that we just took out but it should ratchet um, just kind of like it did there and you can actually position that upright you can you know side angle it get a funky angle uh what we've been doing a lot uh, in the videos we shoot is we stick this on the windshield which is obviously an angled surface and then we have two of these arms and we just kind of get the clearance we need from the windshield so uh basically play with it get it dialed into whatever you need to do um these ends here obviously anytime you see you know the nut and the three pieces of plastic that's going to indicate that the camera can go there so obviously i mean if you wanted to stick that somewhere you could do that but uh, really the sky is the limit it does come with the clip so that's going to be good this little screw here that's something that you'll want to keep on hand um that's really it though you kind of get the one arm you get the suction cup uh, obviously this would be equipped right there with the carriage bolt uh, you'll have your quick release again this is what was kind of in there where you see like the little indentation marks that's kind of like your cogs that'll lock it into place for you uh, the bolt and locking assembly we just covered this kind of transverse mount and then pretty cool deal you get the little duffel bag for it you know with the string zip tie so uh, that'll come in very handy and kind of keep everything set up i'd recommend still getting a case or a bag or something just to keep all your junk for the gopro together but this will actually keep dust off of the suction cup and whatnot so uh, that is of course advantageous for you but uh, that is it 25.99 all i can tell you uh, if you're suspect of this thing personal experience we've used that camera probably now uh three plus years i think is as long as uh blcd 74s had the thing 
it's been down i-40 it's been out to las vegas uh it's been on back road farm to market dallas oklahoma pretty much any car show uh the man has been to it's been down countless tracks uh noble thunder valley uh amarillo it's it's been everywhere and the thing has never failed us so uh that speaks volumes in and of itself again lots of options in terms of the suction cup mounts my advice bite the bullet buy the official gopro one in this case some of their mounts like the handlebar stuff uh, they seem to have you know regular failures there's actually better alternatives in the aftermarket this i know is a known functional well thought out product my advice in this case is just spring for it whether it's an extra two bucks five ten twelve whatever it may be this thing works you don't want to have your 400 hundred dollar gopro uh get shucked off your fender when you're stripping down the track or back road somewhere so keep that in mind but uh, that's kind of a rundown on what you get i'll take a picture you can kind of assess it for yourself and uh, like i said my advice keep everything together as you start to acquire more and more mounts you can kind of cobble together all sorts of different things that will work for different applications in your own garage so uh, that said, that is a suction cup mount. It's probably uh, best suited either, you know, for like stationary stuff or in the case of what we're concerned with, automotive applications. So uh, that's why I chose to cover it first. But uh, $25.99 retail, I believe $39.99. If you're seeing it for $40, bucks, be patient and wait it out. I'm pretty sure you can get it for the $25.99 price point. So this one came from Best Buy. Be sure to check them out. Amazon, Target, pretty much anywhere online is going to have this thing. And uh, my advice, if it's GoPro and you have a good price, pull the trigger on it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Uh, that said, top of the video description box, we have a link back to the forum. I'll kind of probably have all these mounts in one post for you. Uh, if you've got questions on them and I can actually help you out with anything beyond what's in this video, I will do so. Uh, make sure you are subscribed to us here on YouTube. We're on Twitter. You can find us on Facebook and Google Plus as well. Uh, like I always say, sign up on the forum. Uh, no moderator drama, no ads between posts, 100% Mopar. And uh, we want to see what you're doing with your Mopar posted up. We'll, we might get it featured someday for you. So, uh, again, LoneStarMopars.com. Thanks for watching. We will catch you back here as we continue checking out more mounting options for the GoPro Black uh, Edition Hero 3 Plus.